I'm Grisbear, um, beside me I have the wonderful Tokunoni Mon, whose arm is now massively in pain from running uh, Spyro Fusion yes. ILs. Good thing I don't have to run now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you want to? No, no. You've played this game before. Yeah, that's true. Right, so, um, yeah, uh, we're ready to go on time, so three... Oh, no, apparently we're not. Okay, now, now we're good. So three, two, one, go. The game hasn't crashed. That's a good start. Those days well, what, what? It's a Steam game. Well, what would it make any... The days oh, when the uh, river um, and because still most of the time setting up, I was waiting for Steam to launch the game for the first time, oh, even though okay. I've been yeah, playing this multiple times on this laptop. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah. In those very, days, very those good old days. So, Gashasp, there's not really Persian a lot to say in the opening cutscenes of the game because uh, there's not really a lot happening and there won't be a lot happening throughout the, the entire run essentially ahead. because... Well, that's a great premise already. Well, yeah, you do legend. one glitch to skip 80% of the game, the which isn't very same. interesting because you don't actually see what happens because you go so far Well, I mean, I see what happens. I can look at yes, land. you can look at, you can look at my hands, but... Yeah. on like hand cam. Yeah, exactly. Phone yours. Yeah, I, I can just hold my hands and show you what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just holding two directions in a row. Life tutorial. Yeah. But um, yeah, so coming out of the cutscene, you got this little fight that happens at the start, which interrupts the cutscene and then puts you in another cutscene straight after the fight. So it's kind of a little bit of a troll because you spend so long in the cutscene to do a small fight with the mobs. Now I can put the controller down and just we have to wait. Only left their den and there's nothing really going on for. Like another, what is it? I think Seeing it's a minute the twenty for the next cutscene, which is unskippable. That Garshas so immediately felt a premonition this is about dreadful events. I don't know. I guess you just picked it up for good luck. Arias, it just was here, not even responsive. <laughs> you want one? Or? No, I'm good. I'm good. I might get some sparkling water later. Oh. Mine is empty. Sorry. Unfortunately. So if That's you were to can you just skip that? No, I'd like uh. I mash, I'm, I could mash every single button on my controller, and it won't do anything to skip it. Game's a bit loud, apparently. Also, hello, Spathlet. Yeah. Well, I'll take five in Suzanne. What did you just say? Did you just insult me? No. <laughs> Stop being a coward. Oh. Which is a meme from the second game, which is something that isn't really present in this one. So I'm sorry. And already I would have reset this run because I got a side roll instead of a forward roll. So... Well, you just hold forward then. Can't be that hard, right? Yes, but the way that this game works is that you roll using the right analog stick. There are no camera controls. And I'm trying to get on this barrier, but it's just not wanting to work. Ah, easy. So... It might be... Yes, I came down this path, and I'm backtracking a little bit, but there's an important reason f for doing that. I'm going to stand in this corner and hold two directions and just continuously roll. So we've got a little bit of time to ourselves now, so... Yeah, should maybe have explained how you get over that barrier. Um, well, the barriers in this game are very, very, very short. So, um, basically, you can jump on top, of an, on top of an enemy's head and get enough jump and height from that to get on top of the barrier and then just go out of bounds because there's a small ledge you can walk on um, outside of the um, outside of the barriers. Right, yeah. So you can walk along that and get yourself into position yeah. with, to get into the void roll, which is what this glitch is called. So essentially we're just going to be staring at this wonderful image of a mountain until the screen goes black because it doesn't know where we are anymore. Hit a load trigger and um, something exciting happens. We get a screen back. It's a nice skybox. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's cool. Kind of looks like Glasgow. I mean, on a good day, I guess. <laughs> but wait, there's more. We get another load screen in a second. Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Unless the game decides to crash. Which hopefully it shouldn't. But yeah, this is this skip is essentially skips about 80% of actual gameplay. Mm -hmm. So um, because of we're void running, we're continuously falling down through the map as well. So for us to actually get the camera back, we have to we get into this gorge here, which gives us con the camera back, and we can just roll back in bounds. Nice. And then yeah, that's 80% of the game done straight away. <laughs> very very hard gameplay. I mean I. It is hard to hold two directions at once, 
And let's see how good my RNG is here. No, nope, not good at all. So you can actually um, just continuously jump across this ledge here, yeah. what I'm doing now. And well, so uh, for, for the first cycle, it doesn't really matter because you have to wait for the solid anyways. But cool. right before getting off, like here, you want to go through. Nah. That's the one that would matter the most. I'm not going to match because I don't want to crash the game at Tokaloni 1. I'm not sure what you're hinting at. I'm just going to wait for the cycles now. I don't want to waste too much time. The estimate yeah. is fairly forgiving, but the boss fight is actually pretty hard. Yeah. So I'm just going to take this a bit slowly. Did this object just not obey its own boundaries? Uh, sometimes it doesn't. I don't ah, know why. Okay. But it just doesn't like to do that sometimes. Okay, cool. Can I jump in with a quick donation? Go ahead. Got $5 from Smath. Smathlax says, who are of Iron Feiglings who sign? What? Which I'm reliably informed is says, out of stop yeah. being a yeah. coward. It is Thank indeed you for stop being a coward. <laughs> Thank you for your $5 donation. Thank you, Smathlax. Who are of Iron Feiglings who sign? Um, I, there's a soul blade up there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what? I loaded the checkpoint. All these soul blades should be okay, but apparently yeah. they're not. All right. So rip five seconds because you can't jump up this edge quickly, I guess. We have to take the slow way, I guess. This this game is weird. Game. Yes, game. In quotations. Right. So I can barely see the um, blades actually because of the screen. So. I'm surprised if these saw blades are in one piece. I don't know why the bottom ones are broken, but who knows? It's gosh, it's very, it's very, very skip. unoptimized. No, skip. no, I was too far to the right. I think so. Yeah, okay. I would have uh, just continuously fallen down. Yeah, so I'm gonna activate the switch, and now we've got very more, like much more intensive gameplay right here. Just gonna stand here for a little bit. So. How is everybody doing? How's your UKSG going, Toka? My arm still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Bad experience. <laughs> I mean, there's not really much we can do other than poop walk. So, um, yeah. Actually, I mean, at the start of the elevator, there's no horizontal, like there's no barrier yet, so you can roll off the elevator and the elevator lives without you. Yeah, so you and can then soft lock the soft game. Lock. Yeah. Which I discovered on a PB pace run once and was incredibly <laughs> unhappy after yeah. that. Nice load screen, by the way. Yeah. I like the run, like you fall for two minutes and then you take like one minute elevator. Could have just stayed at the top from the start, right? Yeah. What what was the point in? Yeah, you just take damage through that, it doesn't really matter. Then we're gonna roll into another load here and then just wait again. But actually there is a skip coming up here. If you double I jump here, skips. hit the checkpoint. We start the checkpoint, then you don't have to um, open up a bridge. Which uh, is very nice because it saves uh, like ten seconds or something. Something like that. Oh, get out the door. To be fair, these ones are, are bigger. These times that be very nice. Yeah, there's a barrier right there that we just jump over because this is Garshap and barriers exist apparently or don't. I'm not really that sure. I mean, they're there, kind of, I think. Nice side roll, Garshap. So if I haven't mentioned this already, I, sh <laughs> I should mention it at least a few times. I'm ruling by using the right analog stick, which is very finicky in terms of how it wants to work. How so the, the game interprets what you're inputting. Yeah. I'm also doing a, uh, a method of saving the frames as well by um, mashing heavy attack as I'm ruling to save a couple of frames in between the rolls. So it really sums up. It's, it's a lot faster than doing the normal roll. Yeah, it is a lot faster. Fast it's essentially, like, I think I think I timed it. Like, if you do the if you do like four rolls and you do the uh, heavy attack cancel, you essentially save a second over those four rolls than doing it the normal way. So we're coming up to the final boss here, and this is actually. Ah, uh, the hard part of the run. I'm not actually being How's it ironic the there. We're nine, nine minutes in only. We're nine minutes in. This is actually a fairly decent pace, all things considered. But this boss fight is actually very hard, and I think my PB has it at four minutes thirty-seven. I think. Um, 
No, it's longer than that. It's actually five minutes. For, uh, five minutes for the fight. Yeah. For, the fight, fight for the fight itself. From the fight. I thought you got here game. and you have to be 437. That would be really no. impressive. No. I wish. Yeah. But the fight itself is actually very difficult. Um, because throughout the game, you're meant to get all these upgrades like health, weapons, attacks, and so forth, like that. Except we essentially skip it all. HP, please. HP. I'm sorry. So all we have are heavy attacks, light attacks, and counters. And that's it. But there are also heavy counters and light counters. So Chris is currently doing the light counter because the light counter, during the light counter, you have iframes. So he's countering here. Um, and although he's getting counter countered, kind of, um, he doesn't take damage. If you, you would do a heavy counter, you would get them, And you would get quite some damage, let's put it like that. So you really want to light counter, J simply because you didn't pick up any life upgrades. Um, yeah. So your HP really matters in this fight. It really does, because um, you get two HP refills over the whole fight, and then... Um those are very hard to come by. You get them by destroying these orbs, and we can only progress the boss fight by destroying the orbs anyway. But to make it hard, the game will spawn enemies at you. So I'm going to try and set this up in a way that I can actually hit these enemies with light attacks and heavy attacks at the same time to do damage to them as well, which isn't really working out for me. So I'm going to have to play around with counters a bit. Yeah. So um, another, another thing that's happening here are animation cancels when hitting that HP or thing, whatever that is, destroyed it. Yeah. So I've been animation cancelling since the start of the fight. So um, this is why it, it gets hard because the boss is like right in the sun glare. Believe it or not, the sun glare in this game. I don't know why they put it in. And I have no camera control either, so I can't even rotate the right, camera yeah. at all. Yeah. So essentially, what I'm playing on is all I can see. And I'm having to be quite careful here because these enemies are being a bit of a pain. I mean, how much have you played around with the controls? Like, is it such that, for example, I think it's in Pop 3D that Numpad 2468 controls the camera? Um, right <laughs> if I, like, there is no button to control camera. I've looked, I've pressed so every button on my keyboard. Maybe. So I think, unless there's some way of doing it, I'm not sure. I could have a look into it, but I don't really fancy adding more time into the game. Mouse doesn't do it? <laughs> no. For all I know, mouse can get you to roll. Num six doesn't do it. Okay. Yeah, it's impossible. I think yeah. impossible. Yeah. So I'm trying to actually do a lot more damage to the actual mob than I am the boss right now because they're still alive and I don't want them to be alive for this next bit because essentially I need to attack this orb and if I set this up right, um, basically all these big dudes will continuously try to hide behind themselves. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason. For whatever reason. And they won't attack me while I'm attacking the orb. Which is nice in a way. But um, at the same time, because they'll all still be in the final boss phase, it's going to be painful. Because they will try to attack me, which yeah. hits a lot. Fight about it. it is, actually. I've had worse. Plenty worse. I can't believe that. Also, another thing is, um, if you... Um, get hit twice very quickly while you're blocking. You can get a counter off anyway because uh, the game thinks the game resets your um, guard so that you can get another counter off like that, which is essentially very nice because it's essentially free counters when you get um, spam. Oh crap! I pressed the wrong button. That's a heavy tech, by the way. I kind of need the boss to be closer to the middle of the arena as well because if um, to actually end the final boss. I have to execute him essentially, which um, if you have a look at the enemy on the left, he's got like a red mark above his head, and that means he's executable right now. But I don't want to do that because I just want to focus the boss. And I'm losing a little bit of health here, which I don't want. It's still good. Well, well off, fine off, whatever. The boss should be getting into executable state soon. There he is. I'm just going to do that now so I can run up to him. And now it's a quick time event, so yeah, at the side of the screen, or, um, there's markers, and I have to push the analog stick in that direction. And time is coming up, by the way, so I'm just going to shout it out when time actually is, because it's on the last hit on the big boss, and time.
1470. That actually might be world record. Really? I think it might be. I think my I think my PB is 1423. I thought it's 13 so something. I mean, I can check. I don't think I got a 13 yet. So let me just quickly check because I do have the web page open. You lost quite some time. I Maybe did lose quite a bit of time. The cavern. I did. I might be wrong. But I, I feel like it is. Oh no, it's 1227. I was wrong. So off by two minutes, essentially. But for for that kind of run, that wasn't actually that bad. Essentially, all all the time was lost in the cabin, right, messing yeah. around, getting around, yeah. getting around air traps. But yeah, that was Garshas. Hör auf, ein Cycling zu sein. That's part of the second game too, okay? Oh, sorry. It's part of the you, second you game. You said it like twice already. I know. I'm not yes. allowed to say. Uh, thank you for watching this terrible, terrible game. Um, up next, what do we have next? Actually, I forgot. Um, sorry. I can't hear you, sorry. Oh, Electronic Superjoy, yes. Uh, stay tuned for that, and I will be back later later this afternoon for another run, Wings Club. So, yeah, keep enjoying the marathon, and I'll see you guys around.